Hello friends, the topic for today is 8086 instruction set, string manipulation instructions. The 8086 instruction set is the core of entire series of processors created by Intel. As 8086 is based on complex instruction set computers, that is CISC architecture, the instruction set is powerful and complex. So we have to understand the instruction set. We have already discussed the data transfer instructions in the last video. Today you will learn the string manipulation instructions for string movement, comparison, scan, load and store operations. Let us start. Welcome to our channel Engineering and Technology Forum. The topic for today is 8086 instruction set string manipulation instructions. Let us start with the introduction. What is string byte? A string byte is nothing but a series of data bytes in memory stored in consecutive memory locations. Then similarly, what is string word? A series of data words in memory. Then parameters required for referring to a string first parameter is the starting or end address of the string and second parameter is the length of the string 8086 instruction set includes instructions for string movement that is from one place to another then comparison then scan load and store for these instructions a source of string byte or word is at is defined by ds colon si the physical address will have to calculate ds multiplied by 10 inch plus si similarly the destination of string byte or word is es colon di that is extra segment will be used for the destination and the data segment will be used for the source so es into 10 h plus di so that will determine the physical address of the destination of string byte. Then let us see what depending on the status of direction flag, SI and DI registers are automatically updated. So if DF is equal to 0, then SI and DI are incremented by 1 for byte operation and by 2 for word operation because well, word is 16 bit long so uh, we will have to increment it by 2 then similarly when df is equal to 1 si and di are decremented by 1 for byte operation and by 2 for word operation then strings end with yes yesb or yesw so yes stands for string yesb stands for string byte and SW stands for the string word. The length of string is stored in the CX register. CX register is the counter that is generally used for the counter operation and hence it will be stored in the CX register. Then REP instruction prefix that is repeat instruction prefix used for repeat in execution of string instruction. Then let us see the repeat is string instruction prefix. The string instruction with REP is executed repeatedly until the CX register becomes 0. So the operations will be repeated. If CX becomes 0, the execution proceeds to the next instruction in sequence. The most commonly used REP instructions are REP that is repeat rep repeat while equal repz repeat while 0 then repnz pne that is repeat while not equal and repnz that is repeat while not 0 let us see the details of this first is rep now rep is used in conjunction with the move string MOVS 
and stos that is store string instructions and is interpreted as repeat while not end of the string so while cx is not zero so when cs becomes zero that will be the end of the string so when cx is not equal to zero the operation will be repeated the next we have rep repz are used with compare string instructions and the scan string scs instructions and require zero flag to be set that is zf should be equal to 1 before the next repetition so while cx is not equal to 0 and zero flag is equal to 1 the repeat execution of instructions so and cx will be decremented every time after one iteration then next is repne repnz they are used with again the compare string instruction and scan instru uh, string instructions and require zero flag to be clear before the next repetition so the same thing only here the zero flag should be equal to zero repeat the execution of instructions while cx is not equal to zero and cx will be decremented by one after each iteration so these are the repeat prefix which will be used along with the string instructions then let us go to the first string instruction move sb move string byte moves a string byte at a time from source memory ds colon si to destination memory es colon ti the pointer register si and di are incremented or decremented by one depending on the direction flag so the operation you can see ds colon si is moved to es colon di if direction flag is equal to zero then di will be di plus one and si will be si plus one if direction flag is equal to one then di will be di minus one si will be si minus one it will be decremented by one so this is how the move sb move string by instruction will work then let us go to the move string word mov sw sw is for string word so moves a string word at a time from source memory ds colon si to destination memory es colon di the pointer registers are incremented or decremented by two because the word is 16 bit depending on the direction flag so again the operation you can see the same operation is there here only we have specified ds colon si but when uh, the, uh, the instruction is executed two memory location contents of two memory locations that will form a word and they will be transferred to the destination specified by es and di so if the direction flag is zero then di will be incremented by two and si will also be incremented by two for the next word then if direction flag is one then it will be decremented by two si and di both are decremented by two then let us go to the next it is store string byte sto sb this instruction stores a string byte at a time from al to destination memory location es colon di so here the destination address is given by es colon di the pointer register di is incremented or decremented by one because we are moving a byte depending on the direction flag so the operation is al contains they are transferred to the memory location pointed by es colon di that is es into 10 plus di physical memory location physical address will be that then if direction flag is zero then di will be incremented by one if it is one then di will be decremented by one then next we have the 
स्टोर स्ट्रिंग वर्ड एस टी ओ एस पी दिस इंस्ट्रक्शन स्टोर स्ट्रिंग वर्ड एट अ टाइम फ्रॉम ए एक्स टू डेस्टिनेशन मेमोरी एड्रेस ई एस कोलन डी आई द पॉइंटर रजिस्टर डी आई इज इंक्रीमेंटेड और डिक्रीमेंटेड बाई टू बिकॉज इट्स अ सिक्सटीन बिट वर्ड वर्ड इज सिक्सटीन बिट डिपेंडिंग ऑन द डायरेक्शन फ्लैग सो द ऑपरेशन ए एक्स कंटेंट्स दे आर ट्रांसफर टू मेमरी लोकेशन पॉइंटेड बाई एस कोलन डी आई फिजिकल एड्रेस विल बी ई एस इंटू टेन प्लस डी आई सो इफ डी डायरेक्शन फ्लैग इज जीरो देन इट विल बी इंक्रीमेंटेड इफ डायरेक्शन फ्लैग इज वन डी आई विल बी डिक्रीमेंटेड बाई टू देन नेक्स्ट वी हैव लोड स्ट्रिंग पॉइंट सो इन दिस केस वेयर द इंस्ट्रक्शन लोड द स्ट्रिंग बाइट एट अ टाइम फ्रॉम सोर्स मेमोरी एड्रेस डी एस कॉलोन एस आई टू ए एस सो द पॉइंट रजिस्टर एस आई इज इंक्रीमेंटेड और डिक्रीमेंटेड बाई वन सो डी एस कॉलोन एस आई दैट इज लोडेड इन टू द ए एन रजिस्टर सो इफ डी एफ इज जीरो देन इट विल बी एस आई विल बी इंक्रीमेंटेड बाई वन इफ डी एफ इज टू वन देन एस आई विल बी डिक्रीमेंटेड बाई then next we have load sw load string word the instruction loads the string word at a time from source memory address ds colon s and the pointer will be uh, incremented or decremented by 2 so depending on the direction flag so the operation is ds colon si is going to the uh, here ax it should be ax then if direction is zero then yes i will be incremented by 2 if direction flag is 1 yes i will be decremented by 2 then next there is compare as compare string byte the byte or 8 bit data ds colon si is compared with the byte or 8 bit data at es colon di and the flags are set accordingly as per the comparison the flags will be set so both s i and d r incremented or decremented by one depending on the direction flag if both bytes are equal zero flag is set so that is the result of comparison zero flag will be set otherwise it is reset so it will just check whether the strings are equal or not then this is the operation result of compare ds colon si comma ds es colon di and the flags are set so here particularly the zero flag will be set if the both the bytes are equal then if df is zero then it will be incremented by one si will be also incremented by one. if ds is equal to one then it will be decremented by so this instruction is combined with repeat prefix so that we can compare two strings so and also we can find at what points two strings no longer are equal so a string will have either number of bytes or number of words so each here we are comparing the bytes of the string and we can check say find at what points two strings no longer are equal so up to what point they are equal and then so that we can do with the help of using this instruction along with the rep prefix then next we have the compare string word the word or 16 bit data at ds si that is the source is compared with 16 bit data at es colon di that is the destination and the flags are set accordingly both s i and d are incremented by 2 in this case depending on the direction flag if both bytes are equal zero flag is set otherwise it is so here both words are equal means two bytes will be there otherwise it is reset then flags 
here flux will be set as per the result of compare this then if direction flag is zero it will be incremented by two if direction flag is one it will be the s i and d are the decremented by two again this instruction is combined with repeat prefix so that we can compare two strings so here in this case it will be a uh, string consisting of words 16 bit data so we can find out at what point these two things are no longer in the next we have the scan string byte instruction yes c a s b the byte or 8 bit data at esdi is compared with the contents of al and corresponding flags are set so the pointer register di is decremented or incremented by one depending on the direction flag di so this is the operation result of comparison es colon di comma al so actually they are compared means they are subtracted and the result of that the flags are set accordingly if the result is zero then zero the third flag will be set otherwise it will be reset so if direction flag is zero then it will be incremented if direction flag is one then di will be decremented then sca sb can be combined with rep prefix so that we can be able to scan a string looking for the first occurrence of a particular byte so in a string if you want to see a particular byte then you can scan with the help of this sca sp instruction the next scan string board so in this case the 16 bit data at es di is compared with the contents of ax and the corresponding flags are set the pointer register is incremented or decremented by two depending on the direction flag so this is the operation result of compare es colon ds comma ax so here the two bytes or a word is compared with the word in es colon di and then the flags are set if direction flag is 0 di will be incremented if direction flag is 1 di will be decremented and the result will be in terms of z 0 flag if it is the both the words are equal then it will be set otherwise it will be reset again we can use this combined with the repeat prefix so that we can we are able to scan a string looking for the first occurrence of a particular word. So here we look for a occurrence of a word that is 16 bit no data string sorry. Then with this we come to the end of this video. If you like the video press the like button, share with your friends and subscribe to our channel engineering and technology for you for future videos and if you want to get notification don't forget to press the bell icon then if you have any queries you can contact me on facebook twitter gmail ullaskumargokale at the red gmail.com or on the instagram and thanks for watching have a nice